All right, let's build a start stop latching circuit here in ladder logic. So we're going to start with a start bool, a stop bool, which we're going to set equal to one on initial startup here because a stop button is usually a normally closed contact on the back of the button. And then we're going to do an output, which is also a bool. This could be a lamp, it could be a motor, it could be any of those types of outputs. Then we can grab a contact from the toolbox and another contact and another one that we're gonna put below. And then we can drag this line up to meet the other one and we'll add a coil. And so now we can start assigning our variables. We're gonna have our stop here at the beginning a start the top here and our output is actually going to be this coil at the bottom as well as the coil on the right side so now our start is our stop is going to be energized by default that's when we set it to one and then we'll be waiting for a start command to then latch this output as an on and it'll latch because we're monitoring the output as a contact here. And so once it becomes a high, it becomes a one, we're going to have stop through the output and the output's going to remain on. But if we press the stop button, we're going to break that connection and everything is going to go to a zero state. Now let's jump into our visualization. Uh, we're going to create the start and stop push buttons. So we'll do this here, we'll add text, which will be our start. And we can give it the input of a tap. And the variable we wanna go find is our start. And this one's gonna be our stop. And for this one, since we want a normally closed action, we actually want to tap false. So we'll check this mark. And that's just going to simulate a real life normally closed uh, push button here. And the text, we can give it stop. And we'll also create a lamp. Here's our lamp. Could be a motor, could be anything with a discrete on off. But for this the latching circuit, we're just doing a lamp. And we'll go to our variables here. You can also find it using the routine that you named. So I named it latching ladder. And then once I do a dot, I get a drop down here of the three variables. I'm going to do the output. And so now I can go online and do login with download. And I'll hit play here. So now I have a start stop button start, turns it on. If I hit it any number of times after that, it's not going to do anything. I hit stop and it turns off. So we're latching correctly. It's doing what we want it to. And let's see the logic with the button side by side. We hit start. You can see that we energize that momentarily. It turns on the output coil which then allows the circuit to stay latched because this output contact goes true. And if we hit stop, you can see the light goes off because our stop goes momentarily false, breaking that circuit. I hope this was useful and you learned something and I'll see you in the next one.